Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I didn't expect to film today, but after how much I just spent at the grocery store, I figured why not. I am making a video about my health and different things to do with the doctor and whatnot, but I will just like clue you in a little bit. I went to a doctor and they told me I need to go on this special diet for food sensitivity. It's like the elimination diet. Um, I've been doing it for a week or so now. Um, and I did try to, you know, eat a gluten burger bun or a cheese this, and it really did hurt my stomach. So I am just gonna kind of stick to that diet of like no gluten, no dairy as much as possible um, while introducing a lot more protein into my diet because I need to start exercising more. Anyways, um, so I'm gonna show you guys what I just spent $150 on. Let's get the stupid stuff out of the way. I bought a case of water and some more paper towels. Now to the stuff that really broke my bank. Um, I say we start with Target um, because that's how I started my day. So when I'm grocery shopping, I do like to go to like Target and Walmart first and try to get as many items as I can. And then I'll go to Whole Foods and whatnot for all the other random little things that they didn't have. I got some bananas for smoothies protein smoothies and protein shakes that I'm doing. So I'll just talk about this really quick. This is Vega plant-based protein. Um, I never thought I'd be like a protein shake or a protein smoothie person, but I didn't know a damn thing about uh, metabolism or protein and it turns out I, I just need it. I bought today um, the berry flavor. I've never had it before, but I wanted to start doing smoothies in the morning with protein instead of just shakes because right now I have the chocolate and the chocolate is surprisingly really, really good. But in the morning, I just feel so weird drinking like a chocolate shake. It just like in my mind isn't quite working. So I can't do it every day. Um, and that's why I bought the berry so I can switch between the two. Moving on. I finally got my hands on some arugula. I don't know why they've been sold out at Target for so long, but I really like arugula salads with just like some lemon juice, some salt, some pepper, some olive oil, and lettuce actually makes my stomach really upset for some reason. I, I cannot tell you why, but arugula is not that bad. I got this superfruits a uh, blend of like antioxidant, whatever, um, frozen fruit from Target. I figured I'd try that in my berry protein smoothies. I got some organic chicken breast from Target. I always thought I hated chicken until like this past week where I was like, Ashton, just try to cook chicken breast because like what else are you gonna eat? And it turns out, I don't think I like it when other people cook it. Yeah, I don't know what the deal was, but now I'm like into it and I'm glad. <laughs> Cause it's like super easy to cook and i really do think getting organic like makes a difference in the like grossness of chicken you know sometimes it has like that gross fat or whatever in there um and for some yeah i just i don't know maybe it's all in my head next i got so many packs of ben's ready rice although i do have a rice cooker and i do use it a lot it just takes so long to cook the rice and the chicken is so fast so timing wise it's just so much easier if i can have some of these to grab. Next, some taco seasoning. I prefer the Taco Bell kind, and I think you can only get that at Walmart, which is why I haven't been able to find it. Um, I don't have really any Walmarts near me, near me. Next, I got gluten-free spaghetti uh, because I need to feel full, and I don't feel full without bread in my life anymore. So I tried this the other day, and it wasn't that bad. I needed to cook it longer. I think it does need to cook longer than regular spaghetti. I'm not really sure. Maybe it was just all in my head. But at this point in my life, I'm like, should I really feel like that bad in my stomach when I'm eating spaghetti? Probably not. Uh, if there's such an easy alternative like gluten-free. Next, Whole Foods. Let me just bring the whole bag. When I went into Whole Foods, I had the intention of buying like a couple items and I walked out with a couple more than I bargained for. That's okay. Um, I got a pack of the Siete chips and nacho flavor. They're like so much better than any Dorito I've ever had. Even if you're not trying to be healthy, these are better than every other freaking chip in the nacho flavor. Everyone I show loves these. When my friends come over and we're pre-gaming or anything like that, I open up a bag of these for everybody and they love them. Um, and they are dairy-free, which is awesome. Next up, I got some organic mung bean sprouts. 
I've never bought these before, but when I was walking in, you have to kind of pass the produce aisle no matter what at the location I go to. And I was like, huh, maybe I could actually start adding plants um, to my miso soup and do like a whole Asian night. Um, Cause I do have some dumplings that I really like from Target. But then I also buy these miso soup packets from Ralph's and they're vegan, they're gluten-free. They taste great. So I was like, ah, oh, let's just let's do the whole thing. Next is the best juice in the world. I don't drink this by itself. I don't think I ever have. Um, but if you're trying to make a smoothie, this like elevates the crap out of your smoothie. We all know acai at this point, acai bowls, all that good stuff. But this, like, like I said, I mean, just elevates your smoothies so, so much. So I'm really excited to make those very protein smoothies with this and this and this girl right here. <laughs> yeah, next I got plant-based Parmesan. I've never tried this. I just saw it when I was walking down the aisle and I was like, hmm, I really do miss cheese. At the very least Parmesan because on salads, like it's so simple, but it helps me so much to forget that it's a salad. So yeah, I, I picked that up too. I got some more rosemary. I don't necessarily need to buy this from Whole Foods, but I couldn't find it anywhere else for so long. And then I got some sun-dried tomatoes because since I am making pasta again, I don't necessarily want to use like those processed jar sauces um even though they taste so good and i love them i don't really need to use those like the alfredo one and the tomato that's probably not the best for me so i figured just some olive oil maybe some butter some lemon some sun-dried tomatoes it would be really good oh and my plant-based parmesan do i look like a ghost in this video i i don't know we'll we'll see later and then lastly i got some raw shrimp um, I prefer to buy the unfrozen kind when I am shopping, when I'm eating, when I'm cooking. I didn't show you guys this to be elitist or to say this is what you should eat or anything like that. Um, but I feel like if I show you guys like a bunch of these healthy foods, then I will have to eat them and I'll have to stick to it. So that is all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching this video. If you like me, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you on the next one.